Hi, this is Martin aka Holly with a tutorial on how to get Command & Conquer General's Zero Hour to run on your computer if you have Windows 7 64-bit version like I do. Because I love Command & Conquer General Zero Hour. It's 2014, the game came out in 2003 I think, and I still play it, I still enjoy it, but after upgrading to Windows 7 64-bit version I could not play the game anymore. So, I went online, I found a fix, and I want to share with you the easy way. Because it took me a few hours and, well, why not make a video about it. So, what I did. Well, firstly, um, let's try and start it up and get it to run. This is what you will normally see just after you install the game. It tries to boot, nothing happens. So I'm just going to shut it down because it's going to keep on going like this, like forever. As you can see, it's not responding, so goodbye. Now, um, the reason it's not doing this is, I learned, is that it needs an option.ini file. Um, the game cannot create one by itself, so you need to do it for it. Um, I went online, found Pie Eaters um, tutorial on how to do this. I copied it, stole it from him, but here's to you, Pie Eater. Thank you very much. I have made a an essential download with everything you need to get started and a few tweaks. So you can just go on ahead and download them, and I'll include this link in the description. Yes, please do download. Now, not to worry, this is totally clean of everything, spyware, viruses, and so forth. So I'm keeping it, putting it on my desktop, and extracting. There it is. In this one, you will find how to fix command and conquer generals for Windows 7. Uh, no CD patch and a file that makes the camera come back a little bit further so it looks a lot better than it normally does. Now there's something you need to know about this one before you use it but we'll check that once we've got the game running. This is Pyeta's advice. I want you to copy this and open a notepad block whatever you call it the program that's in Windows just paste it in there you can change the resolution if you want to you do not have to but you are allowed to save as and what you want to do is you want to save it in the documents and there's a command and conquer zero hour data f file uh, put it in there and make sure you save it as all files and name it options.ini and you are not good to go yet because if you look in the description here's what it says now the key bits you need to make sure that you have full read and write permission for the data folder now how do you do that well you go into documents find both of them right click and then select properties then you uh, say security I think it's gonna be called and you need to make sure that these are checked if they are not you press edit and you just well we're done so edit all of these you have full read and write and editing and so forth click OK click use and OK and do the same over here and I've already done it so I'm cheating just a little bit Make sure all of these are ticked OK and save the settings and OK. And that's about it. Well, almost. What you need to do, and this is the last bit before we start the game, is you go into your computer, find the uh, folder where you installed the game, in my case, the default one, which is here, zero hour, and you right click on the start up icon. 
program since it's not only an icon and compatibility you want to make sure that these are checked for Windows XP Service Pack 3 and run this program as an administrator now you should be good to go let's just try that out I, Challenge I thought the war was over come on a terrorist base destroyed by American forces while defending oh, but it wasn't. Now let's boot it up. And. Shit, this is loud. You will see. Well, Lay in the foundation. This lovely game. Now let's bring the camera just a way back so that you've got a better view of the battlefield. Um, I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so in the we're done with this one. Thank you, Pie Eater. In the file you download, in the folder you downloaded, there should be there is a Command and Conquer Zero Hour game that's a widescreen hack. Now this wasn't made by me. I found it right here, thanks to Neil Widescreen and Kojin, I think his name is, for an optional tweak. Now this is just a file you download and you place it in the folder and games are game in is its name and that <laughs> tweaks the game and it's not illegal in any way because the game was designed to uh, mod in this way so um this is the file you get it's also in here so you can just go ahead and extract that there you go inside this folder you will find the game data copy this one and go back to your zero hour folder where did I What's I'm um, gonna have to start over here hmm. where's my head at okay you wanna go into data and any and place the file in here and one thing you do need to know though when you use this one if you play multiplayer against other players they need the same file if they do not have this file you cannot play against them um, so if they don't have it you can delete yours go online and play some some rounds and have some fun if you play with your friends I strongly suggest that you give them this file and tell them to place it in here because it just makes the game look a lot better and you can play together one last thing before we start this is a no CD patch. Now this is not made available to you because I condole any kind of illegal downloads or anything like that. I just don't want to have my CDs in the tree while I play. So um, always remember to buy the game. Never download anything illegal. Generals is a fantastic game. You can still buy it online on Origin. So do that if you do not have it. If you do have the CDs like I do this is the no CD patch you can use what you do is you copy it right there and you go back into your zero hour folder and then you say whoops you will paste it please do not thank you and you will say copy and replace once you've done that you can start the game with no CD in it and let's go check out how it looks just before we finish off here EA Games Challenge everything! A terrorist base destroyed by America. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Okay. The moment of truth. It does look fantastic, doesn't it? It brings the camera way back. You've got a much nicer view of the battlefield. Um, if New you construction. Do tweak, oh, that's a bit loud. If you do tweak the um, uh, the uh, resolution for the game, it will always look like a game that was made yesterday, even though it is as old as it is. Well, anyhow, your game is up and running, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If I left out something, please let me know so that I can fix it. 
Thank you for watching and enjoy the game. Bye.